Hey everyone, this is going to be a full comparison between the best phone that Apple has to offer, the iPhone 7 Plus against the best phone the OnePlus has to offer, the OnePlus 3T. So let's get started by pairing both these phones on at the same time. Both these phones are pretty new, the OnePlus 3T just came out this week, the iPhone 7 Plus came out around September. Now the iPhone of course is best known for being an iPhone. Uh, Apple's best phone to date, the iPhone 7 Plus, they also have the 7 model. With the OnePlus 3T, uh, best known for being an excellent phone, flagship specs at a budget price, only $440. And you really are getting the latest, uh, all the latest specs on this phone. Easily one of the fastest phones on the market. If not the fastest, still possible, especially depending on how it does this test. But as you see here, at least for the boot up, iPhone clearly faster here. Both phones, all the software updates applied. Uh, and I will do more comparison videos as software progresses, as I get Android N uh, on the OnePlus 3T. All right, so let's make sure everything's closed out. Good. And we're good. So first up, Temple Run 2. And just a spoiler here, the iPhone always wins games, as you see here. Insanely fast boot up time there. But the 3T is still really fast, easily one of the fastest on Android here. But let's see how more the apps go, aside from this game. So next up, CNN. 3T here. And I do have a lot planned for this video after all the app opening, including multitasking, web browsing, Finger of a scanner and more. I funny. Looked about a tie to me. You do. 3T. Uh, calculator. And let me just put the brightness a little bit on the iPhone. Alright. Uh, let's do clock. eBay, 3T, Asphalt 8, and another game, so the iPhone will win this one, um, but as you see so far, 3T really doing excellent, winning the majority of these, so yeah, iPhone here, alright, next up is going to be Photos, iPhone there, ESPN, and this is a really slow loading app on Android. Let's see if it works. I think it's pretty slow on iOS as well. Give it a few more seconds. Sometimes it does not work. ESPN really needs to improve their app here. And it's purpose to leave this on is because it does take a while. Uh, so with the iPhone, you're getting the A10 chipset with 3GB of RAM. Let's see, your first one to load up on the iPhone. Uh, on the uh, OnePlus 3T, you're getting the Snapdragon 821 with 6GB of RAM, so twice as much RAM. And it may not load up this time. Um, let's do settings. All right, to the benchmark. So, as you're going to see on the iPhone, a score of 183,000, highest I've ever seen on OnePlus 3T, 163,000. So, this is actually the highest I've seen on Android, uh, both really high scores. And next up, let's do Chrome. So, I'm going to go to some websites I've not been to on either phone. Let's do Rutgers at EDU. Guess it's gonna make me type it out there. Uh, Rutgers.edu. And we're just gonna do three, then we'll move on to multitasking. All right, Rutgers.edu. 
All right, so you see here, 3T. Uh, let's do, let's do Iona.edu. All right, so 3T here and not even close. Looks like the iPhone's still loading it up. All right, there we go. And let's do another one. Let's do St. John's at EDU. All right, so again, 3T here. At least I think so. It's kind of loading stuff there at the end. And we'll just do one last one. Uh, again, it's I've not been to. Let's do Central Florida, that EDU. Again, 3T here, although it did go to a different site. Um, let me just one last one. I'll do Miami.edu. And then right after this, we're going to do um, camera speed. And again, 3T here. So clearly faster web browsing on the 3T. All right, so camera speed and multitasking after that. So in terms of camera on the 3T, you're getting rear-facing camera of 16 megapixels uh, versus five on the iPhone. Although on the iPhone, you do have dual cameras on the back. Now in terms of actual quality, I will have comparisons on my channel, but for now, it sets out speed. All right, so it's like 3T, a little bit faster taking pictures here. Yeah, really, he's really winning most of this. Though, as you say, it now it's tying a little bit. All right, next up, let's look at fingerprint scanner. And then we do more tasking. So for both these phones, fingerprint scanner and X1 place located right here. So as you see there, 3D uh, clearly faster. The iPhone, much longer loading animation. And both extremely accurate, easily two of the fastest ones, rather most accurate ones. So yeah, guys, I have to say 3T fastest, most accurate of any phone I own. Uh, so I'm going to give that one to the 3T. Next up, multitasking. All right. Let's go on over to the beginning. Let's do jump run two. Next up. Let's go back to CNN. All right, so that was a little faster on the iPhone there. Though not much of a difference as to iPhone. -y. Again, about the same. Both these phones, excellent uh, multitasking. eBay. Maybe a tad bit faster on the iPhone, but really not much of a difference. Um, just do a couple more with the ESPN. All right, so a little bit faster there on the 3T in terms of loading everything up. And we are
are going to do chrome and then one last one after that really not much of a difference about the same and last one it's getting mixed up there uh last one we will do asphalt 8 All right, so I think the iPhone a tad bit faster, but again, really not much of a difference between the two. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but overall, though, I got to say, I think the OnePlus 3T did excellent, especially considering the price. Um, let's look at the design of both the phones. So you see, mostly metal for both. Now, it really comes down to preference. Uh, personally, I think that both of them are not the best, but I think that they're above average. Uh, I do like the Galaxy phone in terms of design. These two, though, can't go wrong either way. See there, Lightning port on the iPhone uh, on OnePlus 3T. You got USB Type-C. Oh, and also on the iPhone, you do not have a headphone jack. Now, I'm going to discuss more of the specs. Uh, so, on the iPhone 7 Plus, uh, or rather on both these phones, 5.5 inch screens, uh, both 1080p, 401 PPI. So very similar screens on both. Um, ready went over the cameras. In terms of storage on the iPhone 7 Plus, 32, 128, 256 gigabytes. On a 3T, 64, 128. Neither phone has micro SD card support, unfortunately. Um, the iPhone 7 Plus, again, the 8th inch chipset, 3 gigabytes of RAM. On the OnePlus 3T, Snapdragon 821 is 6GB RAM. Now on the 7 Plus, you are getting a couple advantages. You get stereo speakers, waterproofing, which you do not get on a 3T. Um, again, both have fingerprint scanners, both uh, ports at the bottom, no headphone jack on the 7 Plus. And the iPhone 7 Plus starting at 770, the OnePlus 3T starting at 440. So it really comes down to preference. I mean, if you're more of an Android person, I definitely don't think you can go wrong with the 3T. Um, more of an iOS user, iPhone's your best bet. Um, but again, I think the OnePlus 3T did excellent here, all things considered. Oh, and I forgot to mention it. So front-facing camera, segment, uh, 7 megapixels on the 7 Plus, 16 on the 3T. Again, I will have actual comparisons on my channel. Now, if you guys want, please subscribe for more content in the future. We'll be doing a lot more speed testing comparison between the two. Uh, when I upgrade the Android N on the uh 3T, I will provide an update video as well. Alright guys, thanks again for watching and let me know in the comments what video you want to see next. Oh, and one last thing, I will have a lot more comparison videos between these two on my channel. Uh, for example, the battery life size, so with the iPhone 7 Plus 2900 capacity uh, versus 3400 on OnePlus uh, 3T. But if you want to actually know how to stack up in world use, again, you can check out those comparisons in the future. Alright guys, thanks again for watching.